Look, all our friends are here to see us. They are? Oh, good. We're going to have some fun. We sure are. Which fairy tale will we be in today? We'll just have to wait and see. Hey, kids, want to watch us go on a new adventure? Yeah! <laughs> oh, wow. I guess our friends really like it when we go into fairy tales. Of course they do. And they laugh at all the tricks the witch plays. Hey, kids, tell us something. Who are your favorite little girls? The triplets. That's right, the triplets. Stay right there. Plenty of fun coming your way! What are we waiting for? Let's get started! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> made of glass somewhere around here. Ah, here it is, my old crystal ball. <laughs> what do you know? Not those triplets again. What in the world could they be up to now? They seem pretty quiet looking through their CDs, but with them, you never know what to expect. Dee's handles water music. Ah. Water music? What an idea! How can you make music with water? I know how. See, it's very easy to make music with water. Would you please turn off the faucet? But we weren't making much noise. 
It isn't the noise I'm worried about, dearies. It's your poor mother's kitchen. In case you aren't aware, it's about to float away. Uh -huh. Will you teach us a lesson by sending us into a story? I hope it's a story about ships and pirates. Or maybe we could go to the bottom of the sea to look at fish. That's not quite what I had in mind. It's the country. <laughs> and you won't be meeting any fish either. You'll meet a donkey. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with you. You're so old, you're not even strong enough to pull the plow. <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> Who would want to buy an old miserable donkey anyway? Thank you very much. I wonder which story this is. This is in a story I've been slaving away like a mule all my life. Maybe the witch changed her mind and instead of sending us into a story, sent us off to work. Hey, it's getting dark. Time to go home. How do you like this country food? It's quite different from city food, isn't it? Quiet down. For one week only at your downtown dealers, you'll find the most powerful super duper super tractor with super accessories at a super price. All you have to do hey, is. Hey, Mr. Farmer, wake up. You in a trance? All major credit cards accepted. Uh, everybody's been using a tractor, Miss Witch, and I'm still using a donkey that's nothing but a bag of bones. Uh, Here you go. A credit card. Pretty nifty trick, isn't it? I wish I could offer you something to eat, but the manger's almost empty. <laughs> Mr. Donkey, why doesn't the farmer give you more food? It's a long, sad story, but maybe I can explain by singing you the blues. The blues? What are they? The blues is a kind of song that tells a sad story. When I was young and strong, I was one happy donkey. My life here on the farm was amazingly funky. Working hard day in, day out, give me some pleasure. Now I'm afraid this bag of bones is no great treasure. When I was young and strong, I never went hungry. My master fed me well and would never get angry. I'd haul the plow around from dawn to dusk. This donkey was the best that you could ever trust But I'm older now, I cannot put the plow My poor old bones all ache, I'm as slow as a cow I think my master has a very good point When he says that a tractor will be good for the joint I'm not surprised the farmer wants no more of me A broken down donkey who can barely Barely see. Wonderful! That was beautiful, Mr. Donkey. Yes, yeah. um, you were fantastic. Great job, Mr. Donkey. <laughs> Mr. Donkey, you sing really well. Yep, but what good's knowing how to sing when the farmer buys a tractor? What'll happen to me? Hmm? You could look for another job and become a musician. A donkey musician, what a great idea! I know, there's a jazz concert. 
concert in Bremen, and they have lots of bands, and maybe you can join one. <laughs> you want to know something? I think you've started dreaming before you have even fallen asleep. Lie down on the straw. I'll blow out the candle. <gasps> You've never been through a lock before. When the gates close, the lock starts filling up with the water from the upper canal. You can see how the water goes from one side to the other. The water slowly rises until we're at the same level. It's like an elevator, but instead of being pulled by a cable from above, we're being pushed up by the water from underneath. <laughs> Hi, doggy. Why do you look so sad? Because my master doesn't need me to bark anymore. When the barges come in, because he installed cameras everywhere. There are a lot of them. By the way, can you sing? <laughs> Hi, Mr. Lockhart. Do you mind if your dog comes along with us to Bremen? Take him along with you, because I don't need him anymore. <laughs> Madame, care to have her back scrubbed? Oh, give me my broom, you tricky triplets! <laughs> What's the matter with you? If you're in such a hurry, why didn't you use a freeway? That'll teach you! Now you're really going to be late. <laughs> We're not running late. We just held up the supermarket. Yeah, and we also stole the van. Come on, guys. We don't want to steal any more of our time. <laughs> Let me guess. You're a gang of thieves, right? In that case, I might have an interesting proposal for you. You see, if you could help me get my broom back, then I can help you steal the money from the tickets to the big jazz concert in Bremen. That does sound interesting. Hey, you're all right, lady. Why don't you hop in? Just be careful that nobody steals your hat. <laughs> Oh, 
Wake up, you fat furball, you, to catch these mice instead of sleeping on the job there. Get out of my sight, you good-for-nothing lazy cat. You're too old and fat. All you do is sleep, so get out! I said get out! <laughs> hey, it's time to wake up, cat. Say, would you know how to sing? If you want to come along with us to Bremen, we're going to sing and play in a jazz band. Get out of here and don't you ever come back again. Huh? Help! Thieves, help! Thieves! No idea. Maybe we could tie up to a tree and go on tomorrow. Hey, look, there's another barge over there. Maybe we could ask them. Hard apart, matey. Steady as she goes. Aye, aye, Captain. You noisy chicken. Yeah, I've had it with you. Thanks to my new radio alarm clock, yeah, I don't need you to wake me up in the morning anymore. So what am I having for dinner? That's right, chicken soup. <laughs> I feel so good I can dance all day. <laughs> now that's music and not that ear-shattering cockadoodle of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rooster. We're musicians and we're going to Bremen. Can you sing? Cock a doodle doo. It's my best number. Cock a doodle doo. Where'd you go, you silly rooster? Will you hurry up and get back into my steam pot? is a lot further than we figured on. Look, an old windmill. Why don't we spend the night there? It isn't so. Hey, there's someone inside. Shh! Look, everybody, it's the witch. And who are the others? I know them. They're thieves. One day they came to the lock and I chased them away. The jazz concert is tomorrow at the Bremen Fair, and since everyone is going, the ticket booths will be loaded with money. Yeah, money will be coming in this way while we take it out that way. Meanwhile, what do we do with the old bat? She can stay home and cook us dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so you big shots don't think I'm good enough for you. <laughs> Did I 
see something funny. Wait till you see how funny this is. <laughs> and that was just a warning. Somebody blew the candle out. Must be the police. Wait. Where you going, you bunch of cowards? Let's get out of here. like a familiar barge. Now I get it. It was the triplets. They must have put out the candle when they punched through the window. The cops found us. How did they know where we were? There was a whole bunch of them. At least eight or ten. Wrong. I counted at least 40. Well, you be quiet. You can't even count properly. There was only three of them. Only three cops? You're kidding. No, only three. Three little girls, the triplets. Now I'm sure you're kidding. No sorry, Bob. Now let's hurry back to the old mill and you'll see there are only three gentle little sisters who've never heard a plea. Hey, where are you going, guys? See if they're still in there. Why me? He's the strongest. Let him go first. Not me. You can go, because you're the bravest. Huh? Enough of that nonsense. We'll all go in together. Come on. <laughs> the place seems quiet enough, but it's so dark you can't see a thing. Wait, the... I'll see if I can't get a fire started. Well, girls, it looks like it's all over. That wasn't bad at all for a bunch of old good-for-nothings. I've come up with an idea. Here's what I think. We know that the thieves won't be coming back. And since none of us have a place to stay, how about making this old mill our new house? We could all live here together. Yeah! <laughs> We'd love to come and live here with all of you, but we can't. No, you can't, because it's time for you to go back home. Couldn't you make an exception this time? We'd like to stay a bit longer. That's enough fun for today. Where were you girls? Look at this mess the water made. Since you weren't home, I can't figure out who did it. <laughs> go into the other room while I clean up and prepare your supper. Daddy, is it all right if we listen to some music? Go ahead and keep out of the kitchen until I finish cleaning up. Bye. 
try to get those triplets into a nasty scrape. A dangerous situation from which they can't escape. But everything I do seems to turn into a mix-up. I've never made a mess that the triplets didn't fix up. It really is a nuisance how they're always there to help their friends. But maybe in the next adventure I will be the one who Love the girls. I'd rather be a witch than anything else in the world.